criminally negligent homicide is the final Texas Penal Code offense included under the umbrella definition of criminal homicide, and it's a little bit tricky. You are probably familiar with the concept of negligence. We almost always see it in civil law as part of a tort lawsuit or a lawsuit alleging some party didn't do something they should have, but the act itself didn't qualify as criminal. For instance, a grocery store employee mops a floor and doesn't put out a warning sign and someone slips, falls, and then sues the store. Not putting out the warning sign isn't criminal, but it could be considered negligent. In the case of criminally negligent homicide, we take the concept of negligence to a criminal level because it involves the death of another human being. In the case of criminally negligent homicide, a person acted negligently in a way that they did something they should have known was a gross deviation from what a reasonable person would have done and it caused the death of an individual. A real world example is the case of a man who repeatedly was caught operating a dump truck without the required commercial driver's license or CDL. In fact, he had done it so often he had already received two traffic tickets for driving without a CDL, but he continued to drive his dump truck. One day, again driving his dump truck and speeding, he rounded a curve, crossed the center line, and hit an oncoming car, killing the car's driver and passenger. The difference in this case between a manslaughter charge, which would be tied to the culpable mental state of recklessly, and criminally negligent homicide can probably best be explained through the act. Driving a dump truck once without the proper CDL is not an act that would probably be considered a gross deviation from what a reasonable person would do, though most would probably agree it's not a good idea and certainly is negligent to some degree. In fact, ask any police officer who works traffic enforcement and they will tell you Many, many people operate cars without a driver's license every day in this country. So if this was the first time the dump truck driver had operated his truck without a CDL and the crash occurred, then it might have only resulted in a traffic ticket and the families of the deceased would have the option of filing a tort lawsuit to seek damages in civil court for the negligent act. What brings this negligence to a criminal level is the fact that the dump truck driver had two prior tickets for the offense and more than likely had driven his truck hundreds or thousands of times without getting caught and continued to repeat the behavior and was speeding. His actions were not just negligent, they were criminally negligent because they were so unreasonable and a gross deviation from what an ordinary person would do. A person who causes the death of an individual by criminal negligence has committed a state jail felony under the Texas Penal Code.